How do you add custom overlays and graphics to your Facebook Live broadcasts? I'm going to teach you how in this video. Welcome to LuLaRoe Ashlyn Tengon. I'm Ashlyn and on this channel I teach tips and strategy videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Today I'm going to teach you how to add custom graphics to your Facebook Live broadcasts. So let's jump right into it. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is download a free screen recording software and the one that I prefer to use is called OBS Studio and you can get there just by going to obsproject.com and it'll bring you straight to this screen. All you need to do is click on download OBS Studio, select which operating system your computer uses and then install it after it's downloaded. Now I've already downloaded this into my computer so you're going to notice this is what the icon looks like. Simply open it and then you'll see this is the screen, you're in OBS. You'll notice that there are four different sections, scenes, sources, mixer, and scene transitions. And what I wanna focus on right now is sources. So just click on the plus sign, and first you'll wanna to go to video capture device. Now you can leave it named video capture device, but I like to name mine Ashlyn's Facebook Live so that I know what exactly I'm doing. Then just select the camera that you plan to use and you'll see yourself right there. So everything that you're seeing in this frame is exactly what your viewers are going to see on their end. The other thing that I like to use is select use buffering. And this is so that in case your internet cuts out, instead of skipping everything that you're saying, it'll hold on to what you're saying until your internet kicks back in. And that's important because if your viewers are watching you, you, you all of a sudden skip and you've been saying some pretty important information such as the prize or who won a certain item, um, it'll be pretty disappointing if you didn't have that feature in there. So I like to use use buffering and then just click OK. Then you want to select your microphone. So just click plus audio input capture and you can leave that named as is. And then you just select the built-in microphone, whichever microphone you want to use and click OK. So now your audience can hear you. Now here comes the fun part. This is where you actually get to create those overlays. I prefer to go to Canva and this is the image that I created in my last one. So you can see, um, I'll just go right into it. I created a 500 by 1200 image. You can see that up here. And all I did was add some text and some vital information that people can just refer to right away without me having to repeat myself. So I put in a catchy title, new today because we were doing a shop the box at that time. I listed everything that I was showing during that broadcast as well as the prices. I included instructions on how to shop, what to do after they shopped and you know how to register as a customer and then my shipping and handling uh, for that particular shopping broadcast. And to create this, it's really easy. We'll, I'll show you how to do it right now, actually. So if you go to canva.com, I'm using the free version, and just go to use custom dimensions, and put whatever width and height you want. I just use 500 by 1200 pixels, and then design. So here's your blank canvas. I just left it as is, and I went to elements, added some shapes, so I'll just recreate the one that I did. So I just made it like this and I just left a little bit of white at the top because that was my preference. And then I just edged this out so that I know it's completely full and just add a color that you want. And then you can add some text. So it's nice because Canva already has some pre-made texts here for you. All you need to do is select one and change what it says. So if we use this one for example, you can drag it right on up here and if you wanted to say flash sale, hey cool, flash sale. But if you want, you can do maybe like a shop, oops, shop the, and this one you can put box, you know, you can make it fancy like that. Or if you don't want any of the preset text, you can just go ahead and add your own. And so over here you can put like the car -y. And then if you want to do the regular prices, you just do 55 and then add on everything else, you know, just so that people won't 
um, con constantly ask you, oh, how much is that? What are we showing today? And all that good stuff. So you just click and drag however you want to position these. If you don't want it to be centered, you can go ahead and put it that way, left align, change the size. You can change the font, and it's nice because they already have um, the fonts of how they look here. This is for you. Oh, I don't like that font. We'll just go back to what we had it at. Okay, and then you can go ahead and add your shipping info. So Elements, they have lines over here. And so I had just selected this line. And then I extended it out because this line actually you see it has a little square right there and I just don't prefer that so I did that and then you can change the color again if you wish make it gray make it blue whatever you want and continue to add um, whatever other information you feel is vital for your particular live broadcast so once you're done with that you're gonna download it so we can just name this like a um you can put this, if you plan on putting this on the left sidebar, just put left sidebar graphic or whatever you want to name it. Done and download. Always download it as a PNG because that's what OBS takes for image, image files. Okay, it's going to download and then once that's done, we're going to open it up and input it into OBS. Okay, and there's our graphic. So you'll notice that we got it named left sidebar graphic.png. So now when we go into OBS, oops, hang on a second. There we go. So now you're gonna go to add and image. And you can name this one left sidebar if you plan on using multiple image layers. And then go OK. Then you're gonna find that image. So just go to browse and go to our downloads and put in left sidebar. There we go. There it is. And click OK. So now you're going to notice there it is right there on your screen. All you need to do now is click on the red outline to adjust the size to however you want. And I think that'll do right there. So another thing that I wanted to point out is you see this black bar down here? You can actually get rid of it by just selecting right here and clicking and dragging so that your video fits the entire screen. Now that's exactly what your viewers are going to see. If you left it the other way, your viewers will see a black bar. So if you click back to your image, click on left sidebar, and you can play around with the size. If you want to put it on this side, if you want to put it over here, whichever way is fine. And you see how I have some some just junk in that corner so this is the perfect way to just hide it without cleaning up your room <laughs> okay so once you get that done um, you can either leave it as is or you can add a separate one so I'll show you what I like to do on mine too I like to go to add image and this one I had put the bottom bar that's just what I labeled it and I went to browse I went to my LuLaRoe folder desktop and right here and then I have a Facebook live bottom bar and all I did was I put the approved LuLaRoe logo I had already created this image in Canva and then click OK and then just resize it to whatever your heart desires and I placed it down here and you can add as many graphics as you want make it look fancy basic however you prefer then the next thing you're going to do is click you're going to go to facebook.com slash live slash create and this will take you directly to facebook where you can create your live stream so you just click right here you select where you want to share this so I'm going to share this in a group that I know, or actually in a page that I know not a, lot, not a lot of people go to. And that one I've created, it's called Menus Hawaii. <laughs> I've never ever um, published this anywhere, so no one really knows about this except for you watching this. 
Now you're going to notice it says fetching stream video and it says offline and it won't allow you to go live. So what you'll do, there we go. So you want to go back to OBS and you're going to click and you're going to click start streaming. And then when you get over here, you want to select your server URL, copy and paste it into OBS. Then you're going to go, uh oh, start streaming. Go to your settings, stream, and input the URL. That is actually, I need the server URL. Copy and paste. Okay, and then you want to get the stream key as well. And then copy and paste. And then press OK. And then start streaming. There you go. So now you're streaming. Then you want to go to your Facebook. It's going to fetch your video stream again. And you can input the title here, whatever you want. I'm just going to put or you can say tutorial. tutorial. Then you want to go to your Okay, so now you can hear yourself speaking as well. Overlay tutorial, whatever you want to name your title of your video, overlay tutorial. And then you're going to select go live. So now you can see in the preview that's exactly what you're going to look like to your audience when you go live. It's going to connect, it's going to take just a little bit. And there you go. Now you're live in your group or your page or whatever, wherever you wish to um, submit your broadcast and this is exactly what your viewers are going to see. So when you're doing your actual broadcasting and you're shopping or you're selling and buyers want to shop from you, you're going to want to use a separate device to see the comments and I usually just log in from my phone and tune in to my broadcast and then I can see comments from there. And so that is how you create these beautiful overlays for your broadcasts to make them much more visually interesting and to prevent a lot of questions from being answered over and over again. Question of the day. What kind of custom overlays do you plan on using in your Facebook Live broadcasts? Leave your answer in the comment section below and I read every single comment. Thanks for checking out this video. If you'd like to learn more about how to grow and improve your LuLaRoe business, give this video a like and consider subscribing. I'll see you all next time. Thank you.